Hey everybody, Aaron here, welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at My Hero Academia's second season, episode 20, or episode 33 if you're looking on Crunchyroll. Wow, that was an awesome, awesome, heavy episode. I, I love it. You know, this this is hands down, I've said this already several times, I'll say it again. This is one of my favorite shonens of all time. I, I really do, I love this show so much. Um, so we learn more about the past, essentially, this week. Um, it, we, had, we had other various things happen, and we were kind of goofy, uh... Everyone got, at the class got to see uh, uh, Deku actually being a lot stronger because he's learned, obviously, how to control his power more often. It doesn't mean he's infallible. He still has to learn several things, obviously, to have how to kind of have situational awareness because as he was jumping from various platforms during a thing where they were doing, like, a, a fox uh, rescue mission, he actually, like, almost fell and then got hurt at one point. But it wasn't bad enough to, like, you know, get him hurt at the same level as always, but it stopped him from winning the event. But what was interesting, though, was the takeaway with him talking with All Might. Now, we learned the past of All for One and One for All. And what was interesting was there's a very, very big difference between the two. Now, obviously, One for All is something that, you know, uh, Deku and All Might share, obviously. But All for One, which we had heard in the past, was actually explained as a power that was gained by an evildoer way back when everyone was gaining their quirks for the first time. And it caused humanity to basically come to a standstill because he was leading all of these evildoers in this league of like league of villains and stuff like that and making it where people were just terrified. They couldn't even get out of their houses. They were afraid that they were to be killed by monsters and other things like that. Uh, riots started occurring, etc. It was, a, as All Might says, a very horrible time. But ironically, the uh, villain's brother had a very interesting power where it was very similar to the brother's power of taking other people's quirks and using it for his own. He was actually able to give his quirk and give it to others as it accumulated. And so his brother had basically kept trying to, to enforce his own powers into his younger brother, you know, the, the evil brother, and kept trying to give him new powers and keep trying to see if he would finally get to this point where he'd be on par with him and he'd be able to fight with him. But in turn, the brother always, the good brother at least, always tried to resist as much as he could. And what he did was, before he passed away, he started spreading his power to others that he felt would be able to stand up against his brother one day. And eventually, it got to All Might, where All Might was able to use his power one for all and actually take down all for all, you know, all for one. But what's very interesting about this, though, is that as we learn, though, most likely, even though he is basically, you know, even though All Might is defeated him, I should say, would probably be the best way to say it. He really didn't, it looks like. It looks like more so he stopped him, and he was able to regenerate, because as All Might even describes, he has regenerative abilities. He has other abilities from other quirks, so he has probably anti-aging quirks, he has probably regenerative quirks, etc. Thus, he's not dead. We see that at the very end of this, that he's still around, and he, what he's doing, he's trying to get that weird guy with the, um, the, the the weird hand on his face all the time. He's trying to give him the powers now and try to give him the ability to kind of hold his reign, essentially. But, um, it's just kind of terrifying if you think about it, actually. This is this story was very deep. But what I think All Might really wanted to tell Deku, even besides the history lesson over there, was that, you know, Deku would have to get to a point where he has to be able to fight this, you know, this evildoer at full force because... All Might's not going to be around for, for We already know that All Might's going to die. And it's kind of something that they've been hinting at from the very beginning. But, you know, now it's confirmed. Now we very much know that Deku will be on his own most likely at one point. Because I think All Might is starting to realize that he's on borrowed time now. And that is that, that whole scene was, like, very heavy. It was a very nice scene, but it, it was very heavy. And I think that was one of the best things I've seen in a show in a long time. Um, I would love to know what your thoughts about this week's episode were. I mean, this episode was just incredible. Uh, I can't wait till next week. Uh, anyways, have a great day, everyone. I have recreators I have to do today. I have, um, I'm trying to think. I have, like, several interviews to do today. Uh, I think, what else do I have to do? I don't know. We'll find out today when I have to keep bringing out up, uh, reviews and stuff like that. So I do apologize for that, but it's very early in the morning. It's, like, I think, what, 6.50 in the morning right now as I'm doing this review. Uh, this probably will go up around... 7 o'clock, 7.30. I don't know yet. I'm going to figure out. I might, I might just upload it right now because I'm just like, get it out of the way because I have so much other crap to do today. So I'll talk to you guys then. God bless you all. Have a great blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone.